former mine workers of the Royal Bafukeng Platinum Mine are receiving assistance from the local municipality. Some claim they were forcefully evicted from mine accommodation early this morning. Let's get an update now from our senior reporter, Avi Mtila, who's taking that story for us there in the northwest. Avi, good afternoon. What's happening? Well, but then it's 25 households that were uh, forcefully evicted, we understand, at the Waterkloof Hills estate here in Rustenburg. We hear that this happened in the early hours of the day today, and these are former employees of Royal Bafokeng Platinum Mine, um, and they were dismissed, we understand, back in 2017. The residence that they were staying in, we understand, is the residential area for the employees of the Platinum Mine. I just want to catch up with some of them, as you can see, some of their belongings there, as they're now currently being assistant. Uh, uh, to move to temporary shelter. I wanted to catch up with some of the former employees to understand what happened. Sis Gloria, thank you for joining us at ENCA. But maybe take us back to what happened and what time this happened at. Um, thank you, my brother. In, this is what transpired in, this, in the early mornings of today. Um, in a place that I used to call a home, where my kids used to, in my place where my, my children used to call a home. Um, Around 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, I was awakened. Imagine being half naked, being awakened by a, uh, by a strong bang on the doors. Only when I go, went to the door to check out the window, I found the policemen were sitting there with guns. And imagine my brother, I've got kids, a two-year-old and a, a two-year-old and a one-year, a three-year-old and a one-year-old in the house. Seeing those th th those things, they are traumatizing. They are traumatizing. Our kids are being traumatized. Some of our, our kids didn't. My kids even, didn't even go to school today. From there, they were. Uh, they were I was told to pack up all my things to be because uh, I'm being removed because I know I'm not allowed to be to stay in there in the to, uh, to be in this house. I was surprised knowingly because I, I know my case is going to sit on the sixth this month of not this month during Ju May. Is it May? Yeah, in in May. I was told to pack up myself. Imagine, I was so scared, I was shaking. My kids, were, my kids were crying. It was, I don't know even how to describe it. My kids were crying. I had to pack all the things. Some of my things, I don't even know where they are as we speak, mm. because I was made to pack in. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take out things, your things outside. And they were banging the doors, banging the things, banging my furniture. I even lost some of my, my furniture. This mm. was has transpired. In Very, a traumatic Very traumatic experience. Very traumatic experience. Early in the morning. But I just want to understand the issue then. What are, what's the problem? Uh, are you supposed to be residing here. We understand you've been dismissed as employees from Royal Buffalo King uh, Platinum Mine. Oh, no. Um, <clears throat> this thing dates back to, to uh, 2017. Now, what happens on 2017 is that we were from work, and then from work, when we came back to our houses, uh, when we knock off, we found that the electricity has been disconnected from our houses. Now, when we, we, we tried to, uh, to inquire as to what, what, what was the reason for the disconnection of electricity, the answer was that the municipality, municipality saying uh, Royal African Platinum hasn't pay, been paying water bills. That water bill has been deducted from our payslip on a monthly basis. Now. From there, after that day, it was on the, on the, the 15th of December 2017. And then from there, we went to work on Monday. From Monday, on Monday, we were, we were dismissed uh, because of this issue of water uh, inquiries. Now, we've been uh, going to court, back to forth, going to court uh, for, for eviction cases. Now, and they, <laughs> did they evict you when they dismissed you? Who does this property belong to? This property. Uh, this property, to our, our understanding, is our properties because we've bought it from the mine. We bought these houses because we've we, we've signed the the, the uh, sales agreement, not the lease agreement. We've signed the sales agreement. We've bought these houses from the mine. And what's happening in court now? Now in court, there's a, there's a, a rescission application because there were two orders. The first order that we received was was then was said that. Uh, <laughs> The, the municipality should file their report because on, the, on the, our first city, the, the municipality wasn't available, wasn't present at court. So the court ordered the municipality to file their report, then we can go back to sit and then discuss the, the, the municipal city report. Now, whilst waiting for that uh, report to be filed, we were issued with another uh, eviction order, stating that on the 8th of April this month, we, will, should, we should vacate the houses. Then we filed for rescission. We are still waiting for the rescission application, but now here is the eviction today.
whilst waiting for the recession application. I actually want to catch up with the municipality spokesperson um, just to understand, even maybe before we, we talk of the work that you're doing in helping these people, mm -hmm. maybe get a better background of what's happening here. We hear the municipality is involved. Who does these houses belong to? Well, as far as our knowledge goes as the Rastenberg local municipality, um, it belongs to the mining company itself. It does not, the real estate does not belong to the municipality. Um, I, I think we, we have we've got to get that correct. It's not our property. It's, 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 a, it's a mining company's property. And other than that, we are here as a local sphere of government, working the, the local municipality of Rustenberg, working in collaboration with the Bojanala Platinum District Municipality uh, to intervene. We stood up to the challenge this morning we are part of the ordeal of, of, of our people, suffered by our people. Uh, we stood up to the challenge to say no, but, but our people cannot be treated inhumanely like this. You, you do not throw. These are human beings that we are, we are dealing with, that we are talking about, that we are dealing with here. And, and therefore we had to stand up as the local <laughs> authority um, to say no, um, our people cannot be left after being thrown in the streets, cannot be left in the streets. Uh, with the conditions and circumstances they have described to you with the, with the little kitty and kids, you know? And subsequent to that, we took a resolution as the Rustenberg local uh, municipality to accommodate our people um, at the Rustenberg uh, recreation facility, which facility is used as a tourist facility. It's quite a decent, um, big facility. Uh, where in we, we are positive and we know that it will be able to accommodate the 25 households uh, that, that find themselves thrown in the streets like this. We, we, we just couldn't stand idle and, and, and watch whilst our people are being treated inhumanely, thrown in the streets, just out of the blue like this. Okay, that's the spokesperson of the Rustenburg the local municipality. Um, as they say that they couldn't watch the inhumane treatment of uh, some of the former employees of Royal Buffalo Gang Platinum Mine that were thrown out in the early hours, you understand, around 3 a.m. from these residents, the uh, Waterkloof Hills estate, which you do understand is owned by the mine. Um, they were dismissed back in 2017 and they were forcefully evicted uh, today, this morning. Thank you very much, Aviwem Dila. They're on the ground in Rustenburg.